Welcome to Quick Desk. So today we are deploying an Angular web on Amazon EC2, which will be served using Nginx Web Server. For our project, we'll be using the latest, that is the third generation of Amazon Linux distribution. That is also called AML22023. For this, let's start and we'll click on launch instance. Enter a name. And here on the AMI, you can see I have selected the latest one. And for instance, type just select t2.micro if you don't want to incur any charges. For key pair, just let's just create a new key pair. create a QP here and store this as it is required to connect to the instance for network settings we will create a security group and for now I am just allowing SSS traffic and escaping the HTTPS and HTTPS traffic we'll explain it later and storage I am taking 30 gigs of storage as it is split here launch instance done now we check the status of our instance yes it is in pending state just reload yes now it is up and running for the second we need win scp tool the tool that provides secure copy protocol for windows it is required to copy the angular build from my local machine to this server so for installing it just click on it and it is easier to install just click accept next 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 blah 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 and boom it will be done now launch Venus CP make sure to copy the public IP address as it is required to access the server so put the IP in host name section and for username we'll use ec2 hyphen user now we don't have any password so here that pem file which you downloaded will be used to access this for that just click on advance and under ssh click on authentication and here select the private key file now we have downloaded the pem file that why it will not be visible here so just show all files and here that is the pem file so the WinSCP will automatically convert it to putty format we'll save login directly yes this is the server now try to SSH okay so we need the putty click on the first link I'm using Windows so I'm downloading the 64-bit package for Windows just click on the installer and finish now we we'll try to access the SSH terminal yes we got the access now after logging first of all we need to check all the updates or the dependencies so for doing that we need to run sudo update this is for the Amazon Linux operating system not for the project okay so everything is done now we need install nginx this will install nginx with version this and from the repo amazon linux this press file 
I use sudo yum install nginx and here are the packages that are installed so for now we need to verify that the service is running or what is the status of the service so for that we can use this command sudo systemctl status let me create a status in jnx or there's another command Yep, the second command is sudo service nginx status. You can use any command, both will work, but I am using the first one. Here we can see the status is inactive. We need to make it running. For that, we just need to change the flag from status to start, and the old command will be the same this is the whole command and just we have just changed the flag here now for verifying we need to check the status in as such we can just click the up arrow I have pressed the up arrow we press again then you can see the status active and running so for accessing it or checking that it is working or fine or not we need to browse the public IP here you can see it is not showing anything or not loading anything otherwise it should have sh shown a nginx default page for that we need to change in security groups here we can select the security group and go to the inbound rules and here we need to add the HTTP and HTTPS port yeah you can add from anywhere but I will prefer from my IP uh, not for you <laughs> I am actually just for testing top just using it from my IP you can select anywhere IP for for public access or you can also select the custom you have saved the security group now again we setting the EC2 now if we just copy it or we can also reload yeah we can see the nginx default page that means our nginx server is up and running but that is not our angular front end page so for that we need to copy our angular disk from our local machine to the server for that I will just copy it here now for confirming just go to the home directory CD and LS LS is the command to list all the items in the directory you can see this door zip but in the zip form unzip here we will rather create a folder here So for creating sudo mkdir dash data and again inside the data we will create nginx why we are doing this because we have pasted it in our home directory that is not accessible from nginx user so now I am unzipping it yeah. this is the command which we used for unzipping I will give these all command in the description so here we can see this is still our home directory inside we have extracted that dist or you can say this is our source now what we have to do we have to copy th this angular build to the data directory that we created for the nginx this is the data directive just we created through the mkdir co command this is the destination now what we need to do we need to copy from above to the destination for copying this is the command 
So CP is for copy hyphen R for recursive and source and thus creation. So source is here. So this command copied the Angular build from our home directory to the Nginx web root. Yep, now here are the files and this is the working directory. So just copy it or note it down as we need it later. We'll go to the Nginx folder and in con.d we can create a custom configuration files for newly created website. I am under this and we'll create a new file here. So for creating we'll use command sudo vim and you can give any name. I am keeping Nginx. Yep. This is the command. Vim is the editor which will be used. So just now we need a configuration for nginx i have already one i have this from nginx official website we can make more changes in it uh, to make it more secure and other thing now we are just replacing the web root path so just for editing we press i or insert here's the insert mode and just paste it here and in server name we need to paste the public IP of our server all the things are copied so for exiting this we need to press escape colon WQ that is for right quick and enter yes now we can see here is our configuration file now we need to restart nginx to read this configuration file as nginx for now doesn't know anything about this before we can run this command this is sudo nginx d to check the basic syntax as the output explain itself now we need to check that our nginx service is running still or not so just this command so now we can see it is active and running and just change the flag to restart start and enter now again checking the status for cross check yes now we can see this is active and running yes we can see our angular front end is now working and i can put anything this is also responsive i have hidden the logo thanks